Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline for Adobe Premiere Pro. Today, we're going to explore a really cool feature that shows integration between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop Extended. It's called Lens Correction, and it's usually used on still photos to compensate for the distortion caused by a DSLR lens. Well, truth be told, you can use it on any video clip as long as you have Photoshop Extended. Works really well with DSLR because there's actually presets for the lenses, but any clip can be run through this. If you've got a vignette or a fisheye effect that you don't want, or even one you want to add, you can just jump on over from Premiere Pro to Photoshop Extended to fix this. Here's how. So I've got a clip here in the timeline, and it's just got a little bit of bending at the edges here, a little bit of a fisheye effect. You see here what's supposed to be a straight line is curved a little bit. It's going to be easy to fix. Let's just select the clip, we'll right click, and we'll tell it to reveal in the project. When I do that, it highlights the clip in the bin, making it easy to find. I can then right click and choose to reveal that in Bridge. There it is. Once I found it, piece of cake. You can now right click and choose Open With and choose Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now, for some reason, you don't see Adobe Photoshop CS5 as a choice. It's easy enough. You could just go under your preferences and you will see file type associations. Just scroll down and find the file format that you want to modify. There we go. In this case, QuickTime Movie. And I can go ahead and choose other applications by just choosing Browse and then navigate out to the application I want to use. So real flexible here. Quick right click and I could choose to open that with Adobe Photoshop CS5. If you've got Adobe Production Premium or Master Collection, you've got Photoshop Extended. This edition adds some really cool features for video and motion graphics folks. You got the ability to open up 3D models and modify them, or create basic 3D models or text that you bring into After Effects. You can also open up your video files and run any Photoshop filter on a video clip, which is what we're going to do here. I've got this selected, and what I do is I tell it to go ahead and make that a smart object. So if we choose under the filter menu, we could say convert for smart filters. And this makes it a smart object, which means it's basically a layer with the video file tucked inside. You could run filters on that layer. You then choose filter lens correction. And this allows you to go ahead and actually modify the clip. Now, by default, if you use a DSLR, you can go in and choose the camera you used and specify which camera model. And you see it starts to compensate and pick the type of lens you were using. And it'll try to fix some of those things. But you can also jump on over to custom and fix anything you want manually. So this allows you to compensate for perspective. In this case, I have a little bit of horizontal perspective issues. And I could tilt the scene to compensate. You see there how it adjusts. You can come over here and take the measure tool and measure along a straight line, and it will rotate the clip for you. And you see that's pretty flexible. You also have the ability to remove any sort of distortion. So if you've got a fisheye effect you don't want, you can literally unwrap that clip there and compensate. And fix any fringe or add or subtract a vignette, in this case brightening the edges, or darkening it down to give it the look that you want, or compensate for the actual hood of the lens. So very cool process, easy to fix things, and when you're done, you just need to get the clip out. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and it will apply that to the layer, and the clip will update here. You see we could turn that off and on to see the before and after, and it did a good job. At this point, you've got two choices. You can render right out of Photoshop, and that's fine, we just choose File, Export, Render Video, and you have to go through lots of options and menus to pick the correct clip. So when you got the shot how you want it, you just need to render it out. Now this is not going to set any speed records, so I recommend you only do this on shots that truly are problematic, but it's really cool technology, and if you think about it, it's doing all sorts of cool warping and distortion to compensate for any inherent flaws in your lens. You go ahead and you choose File, Export, render video. 
and you got that all set, you choose the location where you want it to go. Specify the format you want, QuickTime Movie or AVI files, anything else, image sequence. Click Settings, and you could choose a file format. Okay. In this case, I'm going to stick with H.264, which is where I started, but you can go to anything else. If you've got third-party codecs installed, you can target those too. Set the quality. Check any of these other options here. I'm just going to keep the same frame rate as the original clip. If there were audio, I can include it, but in this case, I don't have audio on this clip. And click OK. Looks good there. And just click the Render button, and that's going to go ahead and make a new movie for me and output that. Now, this process does take a little bit, but it goes right through and just spits out a new video file that you could then import back into Premiere Pro and drop into your timeline. It's a very straightforward process, albeit a little time consuming, but it just lets you fix all sorts of problems that could be caused by the camera lens. Hope you enjoyed this look at a really cool technology. It's the lens correction filter inside of Photoshop Extended and turn to it the next time you're facing some fisheye or unwanted lens aberrations that you just want to get rid of. For Creative Cow, my name is Rich Harrington and I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net where there's a ton of great forums and tutorials that you can check out to learn more about Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks again.